So we all have those two voices in our head. We have the good voice that we try to listen to, and then we have the bad voice that we try not to listen to. But sometimes it's really hard to keep the bad voice silent. Hey guys, so for today, oh, you. There she goes again, making her weird little videos. What? Don't listen to her. Your videos are awesome. She's just jealous. <laughs> All right, so for today's video, ugh, I thought we'd talk about positivity. Yikes, that nose. Oh. That's pretty unfortunate. Hey. <laughs> Your nose is a little bit big. We all kind of thought you'd grow into it, but hey, that didn't happen. <clears throat> so in today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys how I like to stay positive. Wait, is that? A woman or a man? Excuse me? Oh, oh, she went there though. Here. The five minute journal. The five minute journal. Sometimes I'm so up and down that I wear myself out. So this book kind of inspired me to make this video. I know that we all go through a lot on a daily basis, whether we're transgender or whether we have other problems going on in our daily lives. There's a lot of negativity around in the world that can bring us down, but it's important and it's up to us to not let that negativity actually drag us under and to stay above and beyond and fight that negativity and win. I will right wrongs and triumph over evil. And that means you. Sailor Moon quote, anyone? No, just me, okay. All right, so anyways, lately I've been a little bit down in the dumps and I just kind of sat down and I was like, why? Why are you so sad? You have a lot of things to be thankful for. You have a cute new boy in your life. You have a lot of friends and family that love you and support you and are there for you no matter what. You are getting more and more comfortable with your body and your appearance day by day. You have a job that you actually like going to and people at your job, worker, coworkers and your management that you love and they love and they support you. Why would you let yourself or anything that anybody says to you bring you down. So I heard about this book, The 5 Minute Journal, from a YouTuber that I watch, and I thought it was a good idea because literally all you do every night before you go to bed, you open the book, it has a spot for you to write down three things that you are grateful for, three things that would make today great, and then it also has a daily affirmation. It just helps you to start your day positive and to start your day thinking about all the good things that you have in your life and all the good things that could happen for your day. So then at night before you go to bed, there's three amazing things that happened today, and then how could I have made today even better? So then before you go to bed, you write down three things that you loved about today. It actually makes you really think about your day and to forget about all the negative things and focus on the positive. And it also lets you reflect on what you thought today was gonna be and how you can make the next day even better. Maybe some of the things that you thought you were gonna get done today, you didn't and you can do it tomorrow. Anyways, I just thought this book was a really, really good idea. I've used it a couple times now. I'm not really strict on it yet. I really want to use it every night and every morning, get really into the routine of writing in it. But yeah, I think the idea of the book is brilliant. And now I'm going to share with you guys the things that I actually do to help myself feel better and to feel more positive. So recently when I haven't been feeling that great, I realized that I haven't been treating my body very well. So I haven't been eating healthy. I haven't been drinking in my smoothies. I haven't just been paying attention. I've been spending a lot of money on fast food. I've been eating a lot of junk food. And as silly as it may sound, if you're not treating your body right and you're eating crap food, you're gonna feel like crap. And honestly, I think that was contributing a lot to why I was feeling like horrible lately. All right, so I live by a lot of sayings. One of them being the saying, look good, feel good. Now, what that means to me is that if I get up in the morning and I do my hair and I put my makeup on and I wear a cute outfit and I look good, then I'm gonna feel good all day long. If I don't, if I get up in the morning and I choose to have a bum day and I wear my glasses for the day and I don't do my makeup that cute, I really see a difference in the way that I feel. And some people might think that that is very vain or that's very materialistic, but the reality of the situation for me anyways, it might not be for everybody, is that as a transgender girl I have to look good and to feel good. Now I'm not trying to say that I have to get ready every day or else I feel like crap and I feel ugly and I feel horrible.
horrible about myself. What I'm saying is if there's a couple days or like a week or whatever where I, I haven't gone very hard with my makeup, I haven't been wearing my lashes or I haven't, you know, I've been wearing my glasses for a couple days in a row, then I notice that just the way I interact with people or the way people interact with me, it's probably a mind over matter thing. It's I don't feel as good today because I don't look, I don't feel like I look the, my, my greatest, my greatest potential. And then the day is just not as good as it could be. Obviously I love makeup. Makeup is probably one of my favorite things ever. And so when I wake up in the morning and I try out new makeup and I try new looks and I just spend my time in the morning getting ready and feeling excited about the day and about the way I look, I have a better day. Say what you want, girl. I have a better day. Another thing that, that really helps to make me more positive and get my mind off of the negativity is something that you guys are doing right now. Watching YouTube. Literally watching YouTube. Like, I watch YouTube all the time. There is nothing more that I enjoy. Wow. <clears throat> One of the things I enjoy the most in my life is just laying down in bed, saving a bunch of videos to my watch later file, and then watching all those videos while I have a bunch of snack food. I don't watch TV or anything like that, so YouTube is my television. Vision? My television. Another thing that keeps me pretty positive is being creative. I love taking photos, I love making videos, and I find that when I'm not doing these things, I'm usually in a rut of feeling negative or feeling down on myself. It's usually because I'm not doing a bunch of these things. It's usually because I'm not eating right, I'm not looking my best, I'm not being creative enough, not being social enough. Being creative is one of those things that helps me be positive and helps me de-stress and get my mind off the negative things in life. And I kind of just mentioned it, but the last one would have to be being social, hanging out with my friends. I don't have a big group of friends. I have a, a couple close friends and that's all I need. Well, I wish I had more friends. <laughs> When I go a week or two without actually seeing my friends and hanging out with them and having a sleepover, I start to feel disconnected and I start to I start to feel lonely. It hasn't really been happening too much lately because again, I've been hanging out a lot with Bay. He kind of fills that void for me. But no, I try to see my best friend at least once a week, if not at least every other week. So definitely hanging out with my friends and being social, getting out, doing stuff. That helps me be more positive as well. But yeah, those are some of the things that keep me positive on a daily basis. I know it's hard. I know it's hard to stay positive. Trust me, I wish I was a more positive person. I try. I try really hard to be more positive. That's why I went out and got this book. That's why I'm making a conscious effort every day to, to let go of the negativity and to throw it all away and to be more positive and to be more accepting of myself and to be more grateful of who I have and what I have in my life. Let me know some of the things down below in the comments that keep you positive and keep you excited for for your days and waking up for you tomorrow. I hope you guys are doing well and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to follow my Instagram down below and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Put it up and did it. Oh, sh oh she went there. Oh, she went there though. Here. Oh, yikes, that nose, ugh, yikes, that nose, that is, yikes, that nose, it is pretty, uh, yikes, that nose, <laughs> that is, uh, <laughs> can I just say the word? Yikes. <laughs> Oh, yikes, that nose, that, that is really unfortunate, isn't it? <sighs> 20 minutes.